kindness through some of their darkest times. We first introduced you to Lauren and Hannah Schooler last year. The on your side investigators helped them get new floors installed after months of waiting. This was a critical change for Hannah, who has severe medical needs. Well, now Lauren is reaching out to us again. This time she is acknowledging those who made uncertain times in the ICU a little easier for Hannah. Schoolers are really special people, but here's Ashley Hendricks with this week's Acts of Kindness. For some, the Children's Tower at VCU is a home away from home. It's always a challenge. Inside these walls, parents like Lauren Schooler never know what the hour will bring. We have kids at home to look after and, you know, you feel torn when you're here. So you're trying to make sure she's okay, you're trying to keep yourself put together, make sure your kids at home are okay, your spouse. Her daughter Hannah is just six years old and life has already thrown its greatest curveballs, its most recent one spinning this summer. And so we were here in multiple organ failure and kidney injuries and sepsis and out of nowhere. She was fine Monday, Tuesday she was not. Taking a look back to 2017, Hannah was born with Down syndrome. The series of back-to-back -back medical battles started at just three months old, already enduring three surgeries from heart and gastrointestinal issues. And then at the age of one, she went into cardiac arrest, suffering a brain injury. She's now kept alive on a ventilator and around the clock special care from her parents and siblings. We try our best to look for the silver linings everywhere because if you don't do that, you're going to drown. Six weeks in the pediatric ICU this summer, she says, felt like months. But then a silver lining in the form of housekeeping. She liked the sound of the trash bags. Yeah. Like when we when we pop them open, yeah. like she would be looking. She liked the sound of the trash bags. Yeah. So y'all was yeah, yeah, yeah. It made her day. Day in and day out. It was always how's my girl? How's my girl? Every time. Shanika Wiggins and Katrina Stanley would roll in with their cleaning tools and an endless supply of good energy, lighting up a room that had seen so many dark days. And towards the very, very end, when she was really feeling good, one day they came in and she gave them the biggest smile I had seen the whole time. And I was kind of jealous because I was like, hey, been over here toiling over you and so worried. Like, you couldn't do that for me, but... <laughs> She, you know, she knew good people. A simple check in turned into meaningful conversations and now a lasting friendship. One of the times they came in, I was like, you know, I really, really appreciate you for so much more than your job. And Katrina looked at me and she was like, baby, we all deserve a little kindness. And that's when it clicked. I nominated you guys for the NBC 12 Acts of Kindness. Oh. <laughs> You all were so wonderful when we were here. Yeah. You meant so much to me yeah. during some tough stuff. And she loved y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted you to know how appreciated you are. Welcome. Yeah. So this is for you. Both Shanika and Katrina were gifted $300 each and a Mexico restaurant gift card for going beyond their normal duties. It just goes to show you that um, you never know what your impact could be on somebody that's going through something. You know, just always try to be positive. Because one dose of positivity may be just enough to keep moving forward. Kindness is something that you choose to do. Anybody can be nice, but to come into a room and you never know what to expect in an intensive care unit, what you're going to find when you go in. So to go in there with an open heart like that, it means a lot. It makes you feel less lonely. <laughs> On your side, Ashley Hendricks, NBC 12. What a beautiful.